All right, welcome back, folks. It's Screw Peoples with Peoples Collectibles, and we got a fun one today. We got two set boxes here of Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Uh, this was a set that uh, I feel a lot of people were unhappy with overall. A uh, big reason being this was the replacement, of course, for the standard set of the year. So there was uh, Core 2021 the year before. And to be fair, I mean, Core sets were typically, you know, pretty, pretty lame. Uh, when I got back into Magic, it was uh, around uh, Core 2019 with uh, Guilds of Ravnica and Ravnica Allegiance. And I drafted Core 2019 a couple times and was not a big fan. Pretty lame set. And then Core 2020 and 2021, uh, both of those sets were, were fine. And then uh, with this set, yeah, obviously the power level wasn't too crazy or anything. But, I mean, it was still a, a fine set. And there was a lot of uh, unique cards here. And, uh, yeah, I, you know, of course, I mean, it's D&D. &D. It's, it's going to be a good time. Now, Boulder's Game, I mean, that was another one that people, you know, were not too happy with. And I thought that was fine as well. And, obviously, the power level with that was uh, a lot greater. But, uh, yeah, let's let's get into this. Uh, and, you know, with, I've cracked a lot of these packs, but not as many of the set boosters um, for this set. Because uh, I bought a lot of the uh, the gift bundles, which came with 10 draft packs and a collector pack. And I've also got quite a few uh, collector boxes, but not too many of the, uh, the set boxes. So, you know, always curious to see what kind of uh, list cards I uh, can get. Because I know I've gotten stuff like Demonic Tutor and Land Tax, and I can never remember you know, which sets exactly I pulled them from. So I'm, I'm hoping for a really spicy pull. Because outside of stuff like uh, Old Nabo, and there's really not too much value consolidated into any uh, one particular card in the set. But let's, uh, let's see what we can do here today. All right, I mean, yeah, it's just stuff like Battle Cry Goblin. I mean, that's a pretty... Decent uncommon. I mean, you see a pair of goblins, another decent little uh, uncommon there. Skullport Merchant, there we go. Drizzit de Oregon for our first rare. And Thieves Tools. Loyal Common there. But yeah, uh, I didn't look up the prices before this, but it literally outside of uh, Old Nava, I really don't think there's anything really over like 10 bucks, you know, outside of like a extended art foil of something, and even that, there's uh, not really much pushing like over like ten dollars. Alright, foil hole, it's a decent one uncommon. Some of the decent uncommons aside. Alright, frog hemoth. Our treasure token. All right. Tiamat art card, all right. Oh, what am I doing with the files here? My God. Too many, too many variants, man. Dragon's Fire, it's a pretty decent little. Common right there. All right, monk class. All right, garbage rare and garbage mythic. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's get mythic out here, I guess. But speaking of mythics, what's his name? Jeez, uh, why can't I remember what his name is? The the dinosaur dude. Oh my God, what is his name? We'll figure it out eventually. All right, first little foil the land there. But anyway, he's uh, recently seen a bit of a spike thanks to a uh, good old Ixalan. The hulking bugbear. Got our spider token there. Cool, cool. All right, looks like we got our first uh, list card here. Let's go straight to it. What is it? Will-O-Wisp. 
sweet sauce. All right, Hive of the Eye Tower. Oh, and Inferno of the Star Mounts. All right, so we got a little Mythic and a uh, the Dungeon Module lands. Up to the word. With the mythics there. All right, you know I'm not even going to get on commons right now. I ain't got time for that. We got two boxes to go through here. We got time to sort commons and uncommons. I can do that in my own time. And I found the dungeon cards to be pretty interesting. Uh, more mostly the. Uh, the fact that, like, in tournament play, outside of the, uh, oh, f fighter class, that's actually a pretty decent, uh, oil rare. I don't know if that's still holding value, but yeah, as far as, uh, oil rare for the set goes, that, I mean, that's worth more than any of those cards if, uh, my understanding of the price history is, uh, still on par. You never know with, uh, with magic these days. And I mean, the lands in the set too. Deadly Dispute, Shambling Gas. I mean, you guys decide real quick. I mean, those are both pretty decent uh, comments. Bruner Battle Hammer. I love this guy in uh, any kind of uh, equipment sort of deck. Galena uh, has been seeing more play lately. Shambling Gas is. Uh, a cool little uh, foil common. Yeah, let's put here one. I mean, you can go up there too. Okay. Is there a rhyme or reason for the way that I put things in stacks in these videos? No, not really. Not really. Right, Den of the Bugbear has fallen quite a bit. Oh my god, speaking of no rhyme or reason, thrown in commons on top of the prayers there. But yeah, I mean, what was this before? I want to say like well over 10 bucks just for like a regular one, and now I think I have them listed for like 7 bucks a pop or something. Obviously, a part of that is uh, it no longer uh, being in standard. And this was the, if I'm right, the last um, set in the old standard, right? Because you had uh, the new Innistrads that came right after this. And then those are still in standard because they, uh, they switched up the rules. So stuff will stay in standard uh, for an extra rotation there. All right, so we got a, another little mythic. And we got a Cridal of Baldur's Gate, foil. I think it's sleeved up. And uh, I don't know, so I, didn't, I probably didn't talk about this in the beginning of the video, but another reason why I'm getting these boxes is this is a set that, because I bought so many of those those gift bundles, and had so many of these cards, I, um, you know, I have so many different listings, just like random, uh, showcase foils and even like foil commons and uncommons from the set that you know just like Cridal, you know i have at least like one or two of the showcase foils already listed so just go in and you know update the quantity from one or two to two to three now so i got another one but it's just one of those things like there's not too much value necessarily in the set there's no crazy value really uh, Golem's Heart, right? It's a list card that I already have. That's a that's an interesting one of those lame. Oh yeah, play a play a spell and get a life. Yeah, okay, go over there. But uh, yeah, actually, Warlock class might be another uh, one of those foils that I have listed. But who knows? We'll figure that out at a later point. Yeah, this would definitely be a longer video. If there's any really spicy pull, then I'll just turn that into a little quick short as well. Yeah, I'd love to see some real big spice. That is not very dry. Yeah, 
you know, looking for the borderless foil old knob bone, and then right behind it having like a demonic tutor, some crazy list card. That's the, the ideal scenario here. All right, well, I called him to existence. Oh, wait, yeah, you're not old knob bone, you are. Dragon is also slang for a drink. If you don't know what that is, I pity the poor. Ah, it's heavy play now. Sure, that's another card that I remember at one point being a pretty little pricey dude, and now not worth really pennies or anything, but nowhere near what he was. Back now, that's a halfway decent token. That's one that. I think I even have, I think, yeah, I don't have any Vecnas left anymore. I don't think I have any, actually any uh, spiders really at this point either. Bridal. Oh, right, another mythic there. Xanathar, Guild, Kingpin. Is that a four mythic so far? Xanathar, we've got Icing Death, we've got Inferno, and Emirates. Yeah, that's four so far. But yeah, like I said, outside of Old Nava, I don't think there's really any card um, above 10 bucks in this regular version. Speaking of uh, tokens that I've sold out of, by this point, there we have Goin of. I'm not even gonna try. I'm just gonna put them over there. Ah! Cleric class. It's pretty decent, uh, uncommon. And as I'm saying that, there we go. Tiamat. Foil Tiamat. Halfway decent. It'd be really decent if it was a uh, borderless uh, foil, but yeah, I mean, so far, I mean, foil Tiamat, foil fighter class, those are both pretty decent hits to get um, for a foil mythic and a foil rare. Not gonna complain about that. And a shout out to uh, Flipside Gaming on uh, eBay for these boxes. I think I paid. Uh, I'll say like 85 um, before tax. Not entirely sure. Any showcase cards? I've got to look beforehand. But uh, there's what is it? One, there's one or two uncommons in particular that I'm missing to make like a um, complete uncommon sets. For, oh, you know, I think it's, uh, what's your name? Chestra Death's Whisper? I think that's the one that, yeah, like, I have, like, at least two copies of every uncommon card except for, for her. So hoping to get a few of those so I can list those back up. That would be nice. All right, Hall of the Storm Giants. Not too bad. Um, just leaving this, uh, it's only, in this one, I mean, it's only like a couple bucks, but this is another one that I have the, I know for sure I've got the singles, those listed at the moment. I think land-wise, it's just Hall of Storm Giants and, uh, Dead and the Bug Bear. And that was because I got some pre-con, like, Challenger decks that, that came with those, and I was like, alright, might as well list these all up. Alright, our first, uh, gold signature. Art card, all right, and I know there's going to be a rare in the back here, or not a, uh, a list card. So this could be a nice, spicy little pack here. Let's see. We got a foil swamp. Not bad. Let's see what else we can get here. Okay, let's move the bards. What's our list card? What's our list card? Get out of here. Get out. I, I don't want to look at you. My god, alright, so we, we've got a boned on the lift slot so far. Completely hosed. It's 
portable a set of those portable holes by this point. And that's that's another one I remember being uh, fairly decent for a while there. And now at this point, I don't think anyone, everyone's forgot about portable hole fighter class. A little evolving wilds there. Long rest. Ain't nothing. So we got another list card here. Maybe we'll get something nice. Move the Dragon Queen. Got. Yeah. Cross Dragon, alright. Death Priest. And alright, Gauntlet of Power. Not uh, the craziest hit uh, available, but at least it's our first uh, rare list card. Upshifted to uh, Mythic in Time Spiral Remastered. I'm not sure why. But if you know me, I am a big fan of uh, Time Spiral Block. It's the first set that I bought boosters for, which is a very weird set to get introduced to Magic. It's all color pie ships. All right, there's Shesra. Put her aside. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that's the one that I literally have like at least two copies of every other dude except her. Got a common slot to the, the showcase. All right, Werewolf Pack Leader. That's one that I remember had a considerable uh, price spike shortly after um, the set was released because Innistrad Midnight Hunt came out. Obviously, that was a werewolf theme deck. Werewolf theme set. That guy was top dollar for a minute there. You know, back in the day when uh, there weren't too many legendary creatures, they were a lot cooler. Oh, okay, all right, you know what? Two Tiamats. One foil, one regular. You know, I'm not going to complain about that. I think, I want to say he's like the. Second most expensive mythic at like eight bucks or something. What's your name? Spider. Oh, I thought this was the Spider Queen. You're not Spider Queen. Yeah, it's Spider Queen. I'm uh, Lol or whatever her name is. I remember she was uh, doing pretty well for herself for a minute there, but that's another one like just a regular version. It's really not uh, doing much for herself. Uh, let me see what that list card is first. Let's see. Dude, come on, fireball and a freaking roll the west. All right, we got a another gold signature card. I guess that's whatever. Really disappointing with the list slot. Happy about the, the foils and getting two TMs. I'm not gonna complain about that. And it's got Chestra, whatever her name is. So overall, halfway decent box. High value. I you know, always, you know, love the unique land cycles in these uh, kind of sets. Dean Death. That was another one. Remember when uh, there weren't like a hundred different variants of uh, this kind of effect? What was that latest one in um, Eldraine? One that makes them come back with like a uh, wicked token. It's 
Circle of Dreams drew it. Another guy who is, uh, he's, he's fallen from grace. That's all I have to say. He was, uh, he was a big dude for a minute there. Right? Oh my gosh, this stuff is so good. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with a Gaius Cradle on a stick. Skate Regent. Another one I felt uh, spiked for like a minute there because of uh, Innistrad following shortly after. If you ever play a uh, Brawl or anything on Arena, what's his name? Soren Imperious Bloodlord with uh, West Westgate Regent. Soren's the Three mana Soren who lets you uh, play cheat out a vampire from your hand. And getting to cheat that dude out is bonkers. Especially if you have a dark ritual. That's that's super duper bonkers. Yeah, turn one, dark ritual, get a planeswalker who stays on the field, and you get a four four whose ward is discard a card. So you're getting you're doing a two for one no matter no matter what. Well, I guess no I don't think you're, well, I guess your opponent could have something like, um, <clears throat> forcing you to sacrifice a creature would be one way to not make it a two for one. You know, very, uh, very slim to, to do that. All right, we got a double rare, double, the, 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 double rare pack and an, an unexpected windfall. Foil there. All right. See, we got what five list cards over there, so I think that's it. List variants on here, let's say. I think it's what like one in six packs. All right, nothing too exciting there. Let's pack here. We already got five. Oh, that's another nice card. All right. Let's see. It's going to be the big cojones. We shall see. Hi, Vecna. Extra Talisman. And Rash Weave Parker. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that when, uh, you know, the other thing is a um, getting stuff like a fireball. But, you know, as much as fireball is a, an iconic spell, I uh, really want it in in my list slot. You know, I end up these piles a little bit real quick. Comes out of here. So many freaking commons from this set. But like I said, I mean, there's a few like um, Deadly Dispute and Shambling Gap. I mean, Deadly Dispute uh, especially, because that's because Feign Death I remember was was really popular for for a minute there. But there's so they made so many other of those effects, and they already had quite a few of those effects. Whereas like um, Deadly Dispute. Is there anything else that's quite as good as that? I don't know. Because right, I mean, before you had like village rights, which is basically the same thing, except um, it has to be a creature. It costs one less, but then you don't get a uh, a treasure in return, right? So. You can argue now an unexpected windfall. Now that's an example, right? What did they make um, after this? Was it big score? I want to say and um, streets of New Capenna, which is the exact same thing except it's three colorless and a red. 
so arguably better just because it's easier to cast and it's all the same thing it's also an instant same effect discard a card draw two make two treasures whereas before that um i think it was the original Ixalan, right where they had a card that did the same thing it was three colorless and a red but it was a sorcery instead of an instant and obviously you know instant is Instance better. All right. We got another box. We're going to do it. I was considering just making these two videos, but you know what? We're here right now. It's going to be easier to sort through all of these at one time. Let's just, let's power through for this. Ah! All right. First box, I mean, you know, ha halfway decent, really. Yeah, just as far as this set goes, I mean, that was couldn't couldn't ask for a uh, can't ask for too much, All right? Ranger class, no card that was fallen grace. Ones there. You know, that is a little annoying with the uh, set boosters splitting up the commons and uh, uncommons. You know, just keep the commons together, keep the uncommons together, so then it's easier to sort the stuff. I just look straight to the list card and play pen. I was really hoping for some decent list stuff. All right, Zariel and Asmodeus. This was one that I thought was going to do do some things for himself, and then he ended up uh, not really going anywhere in life. I know how it is, buddy. I know how it is. Okay, another list card. It looks like. We'll hold off. We'll hold off one of those. Make it, make it a big surprise. Another uncommon. Another common. Another uncommon. See, again, like that. I mean, it's a bit easier had they not done it. And it's, oh, Seething Song. All right. I'm not going to complain about that. I mean, that's always a decent card. All right, cool. I mean, comparatively speaking, to everything else we got. Like, I mean, you know, that compared to like a fireball. Yeah, fireball is an iconic spell. There's so many other cards that do a similar thing or do a similar thing better. Power creep and all that, but you know, three mana make five red mana real quick. It's just a great card for uh, storming out. I don't think I have more than a, you know, Two copies at most. That's our first uh, showcase foil. I think that's exciting. I'm just going to put them there. I'm just going to drop this. Uh, yeah, it's one of those BS advertisement cards. And. So far, pretty underwhelming. Only a few packs deep, though. Can't, can't really complain. Being fair here. All right. First gold signature of the box. There. Owlbear. Uh, Leather Armor. See, this is a card that I got in a list slot. And, uh, 
some recent set. Stuff like that. And let me get another showcase of these things. Ooh, do 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 Alright, cool. Not gonna complain about that. The only mythic worth his weight in this set, it's all mine. We got a foil Tiamat in the uh, the last box. Got a non-foil old knobbone in this box. So let's see. Well, let's get really greedy. Let's get a uh, the borderless foil on old knobbone as well. I think I did that before, and um, in one of these set boxes. Like a regular old knobbone and the Borderless foil. Trifecta. You know, I put the thing of commons there to then make another slot of commons right there. That was the intention. So I'm going to do that now. Stop thinking that there's a common slot right there. Okay, that, that's where the commons are going to go. Stop doing that. So, yeah, I mean, that's basically how the set goes. So opening one of these boxes. Old knob owner bust. Speaking of something or bust, let's just see what it is. Come on, man. I just I really want a decent bust card. <laughs> blight sickle. That's what I feel like right now. I'm just a, a little blight sickle. And it's a, it's a mind player. Playing my mind. Don't play my mind. Alright. Much ado about nothing. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? All right, Delina, Troll Boy. Yeah, and the, by the way, these things started making a pile of uh, these. Still in here, my. Uh, Top loaders, yeah, yeah, I do that stuff. It's a quick conversation. Started throwing all these mini game things, uh, I guess the counters too. Um, just in my thing of top load. I used to always throw these things away. I don't think they're actually worth anything. But uh, I'm like, you know what? People, for some reason, do actually like these. And it's probably better to at least put them aside instead of like, I mean, that's, that was the one thing that I would pull outside of, obviously, liter literally no one is, is getting, wants a friggin' advertisement for Arena. That makes zero sense. Um, but I kind of felt the same way about those, those mini games, in the same way with the Arena promos. But, uh, I don't know. I've been told <laughs> that, uh, there, there's apparently some some market for those. Allegedly, I don't know. We'll we'll see one day. Prosperous innkeeper. I mean, again, the people were hating on the set, but I think back to like Theros. You know, that was a set that I got yeah, very very exposed in. Got a lot of a lot a lot of those packs, and you know you go back through the the commons and such. Man, how many green? Stop tricking me. They they were like old Nabo. Let me let me get some of the other ones, some of the other borderless dragons. Yeah, that would be nice. If you're gonna be an uncommon dragon, that's fine. But at least give me some uncommon dragons that aren't just green dragons. 
got the white one. It's the white, you know, one white one and then like three different green ones. It's freaking ridiculous. Anyway, the point being, going back through like Theros, you know, just the draft chaff. I mean, it's been a while, but I'm sure if I look through the spoilers for OG Theros, right? And looking at the commons and uncommons, how many of those are actually viable today for like, you know, using them in like an EDH deck, right? And I honestly, I don't feel like there's that much. You know, there's obviously going to be certain ones like, you know, you know, being uh, an enchantment themed set. Then yeah, there's going to be some that uh, you know, quite a few that'll work well in uh decks that are geared towards enchantments, right? But then I think about a set like this, and there's just so many different good cards for diff so many different kinds of decks, right? Like right here, we have Ingenious Smith, great with artifacts. Fighter class, specifically equipment artifacts. Both these cards work together in the same kind of deck. This one, just artifacts specifically. This one, in any kind of equipment build. Uh... You know, Triumphant Adventure, he's not really helping my point, so you can just go over here. And, well, I guess Fighter Class is a rare, so that doesn't really help my point either. But the point being, there's plenty of good, like, commons and uncommons here that can fill a variety of, like, different EDH decks, right? I mean, that's just really, I mean, modern magic in general, right? With the whole, uh, was it fire philosophy or whatever? Right? Where they just power creep everything. I've got them bandit, Lord. Another, uh, oil showcase little guy there. Cool, cool. All right, stay tuned. We're going to see if we can get a card better than the Seething Song. I guess so far, Gauntlet of Power is our. Uh, I don't know why I'm only putting portable holes there, but whatever. Um, yeah, let's see if we can be better than a, uh, a Gauntlet. All right, here is the moment of truth. <laughs> no, I know exactly what that is. Yeah, it's good. I put all my hope in the list card, but at least I got the old Ma bone to make me feel better. So. All the storm giants, yep, yeah, yep. Ah, Osiric Arklich. Another one of the mythics that are uh, halfway decent. What's the combo with that? Um, it was Aluran or whatever. The uh, enchantment that lets players play uh, cards with CMC three or less uh, for free. Right? So the idea there is you. Uh, can just keep playing that over and over because as long as you enter a tomb that isn't a uh, tomb of annihilation, then you can just literally just keep entering uh, dungeons. And there's that one that uh, gain one life. No, it's not that. Which one? I guess it's lost mine. Then isn't there one? Yeah, each opponent loses one life and you gain. So right, yeah, you just use Alu Ren in that. And then it keep going through the lost mind to drain your opponent for one game one. Drain and gain. Drain and gain, gain. Can we get another uh, showcase for me real quick, please? Thank you. All right, three rare pack. 
take those. There's not any uh, thing too crazy and special there. I think I put another soap and drink to get there, but you know. Whatever. Like I said, that's what for after these videos is for is actually going through and sorting this stuff. Because the logic of where I put stuff in these videos doesn't make really sense half the time. We're just trying to open packs and not take freaking forever. We're already at 40 minutes here. I just I ramble sometimes. That's what happens. I also don't know how to open packs sometimes. It happens. Or the cards. And that's another one that I have at least one or two copies of a list version of that card already. So, you know, big, big whooshy whoosh. And I think that might be it for our list cards here. All right, Oswald Fiddlebender, our first rare showcase. The deck of many things. And, uh, yeah, this is a card. They could have made this a lot cooler. So if you haven't seen this one, right? Five mana. Legendary Artifact 2. And tap. Roll a d20 and subtract the number of cards in your hand. If the result is zero or less, discard your hand. Right? So if you have no cards in your hand and you roll a nat 20, then you can put a creature card from any graveyard onto the battlefield. Um, under your control, when that creature dies, its owner loses the game. I mean, I just feel like they could have done so much more with this card, right? I mean, even if you get a ten to <clears throat> a ten to nineteen, you have five mana initial investment, and then two to tap to just draw two, and then it's then if you don't get that, you get a card from random from your graveyard to your hand, which just isn't really that good. I don't know. They could have done more with that. They could have had more options too. Right, the deck of many things, and you know, there's only three things. And, uh, that, that was a little disappointing, and I don't know, a little bit of a flavor fail, maybe. All right, there we go, another one of those. Watch me be absolutely wrong about that being the card that I needed. I am just on a hill. Or pack leader, thieves tools, and another one of these stupid mini games that somebody out there. Might like. If you are that person out there who likes those weird little mini game things, feel free to reach out to me. I've stopped throwing them away. I mean, I've already stopped throwing them away, obviously. Portal. All right, double rare pack. Cool, cool, cool. We got a cobalt. We got a K. Why am I putting the cobalt in there? You get, you get there where you belong, Mr. Cobalt. That's right. I am a racist against cobalts. Nasty little things. All right. Well, let's see if uh, I am being punished for my cobalt racism. Perhaps God himself or herself or itself is a cobalt. We shall see. And what is this? While you're searching your library, you may play Panglacial Worm from your library. It's a weird freaking I have never seen this card before. Cold Snap, right? 2005, 2006, right? All right, well. I don't know if that card is worth anything, but there is no god regardless, so we're all good, folks. It's Westgate. It's some commons. And it's some uncommons. And then it's some commons again. And then it's an eye. It's an eyesore. Seven minutes. Okay, wait a second. 
we think about this card. So if I pay two mana to Demonic Tutor, then I can pay seven mana on top of that and then play this worm. And then also, get a, okay, yeah, the card's pretty garbage, actually. I mean, it's, it's a super interesting effect. I, I can't think of any other card that does that effect. I don't think any other card does that effect. So, in that sense, that's all. Oh, well, there we go. A foil mythic. Uh, not as cool as a Tiamat. Vanakin. But, you know, I'm not going to throw shade on a foil mythic. Foil mythics matter regardless. Uh, we yeah we got Triumph the uh, Adventurer as the foil a foil rare as well. So I'm not gonna complain about getting a foil rare and a foil mythic in a box, but obviously our foil rare and foil mythic in the previous box makes it even nicer. Treasure Vault one of the better rares for sure. Commons. What are we down to, folks? My bad. All right. Like I said, super long video. It is what it is. But yeah, so far nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. But that's also kind of what I was expecting, because as I mentioned in the beginning, there's just really not anything. Uh, too crazy. Okay, well, I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, these two cards together are still not worth as much as an old Nabone, but at least, you know, it looks sweet getting a foil rare, a mythic, and a regular rare. So, who knows? That might make that a, a little, little short thing. You know, you know how it is. Them kids these days, they ain't got the attention span to watch a 50-minute video. I, mean, I, don't, I don't blame them. Just give, give them that adrenaline rush they want real quick. There you go, Sonny. You, get, you got a mythic. You got a foil rare. You got a regular rare. Don't worry that those all combined are not even worth uh, an old knob on. Irregardless. Oh my god. I have like thousand copies of those things too. I was really hoping that was going to lead into like some epic um, listful. That, that would have been listful, but sounds dirty. Um, but it did not. If you haven't seen this card, this card's garbage. When it comes into play, it's a minus one, minus one cap. If three mana, you get a two, two flyer. If you have uh, some way of removing or transferring that Minus one, minus one counter, then congratulations. You now have a 3-3 three, three flyer for three. Times were different back then. So. All right, well, it's not a green dragon, so. Count your blessings for where you can, folks. All right. Guardian. Bolo, 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 bolo. I don't think I've seen literally two of the exact same rare side by side. One uh, foil, one not. But uh, 